Hey everyone, my name is Tori. Welcome to Pug Pibble Hedgy, and today we're going to be talking about toys for your hedgehog. So, I actually get a lot of questions about toys for hedgehogs because I don't use a lot of them for my hedgehog. Um, he is older, he doesn't really care about toys much. Um, I have made and bought loads of things and they just kind of sit in his cage. But of course, younger hedgehogs and more curious hedgehogs do benefit a lot from toys, so I wanted to discuss some of the things that you can use for a hedgehog. So obviously the number one thing that you should have for your hedgehog is a wheel. I personally prefer bucket wheels. Bucket wheels are a really good option for hedgehogs because they have a smooth surface, they have a really wide running surface and they tend to be very silent for those of you who keep your hedgehogs in your bedrooms and don't want to listen to them running all night. Wheels are incredibly important to hedgehogs and they are their number one source of enrichment and exercise so make sure your hedgehog has one of those. Another really popular thing is cat toys. I have a couple here that I keep in Draco's cage. There's the crinkle ball, which is really popular with most hedgehogs, a jingly ball. Now, when you get a jingly ball, if it has holes in it, you need to make sure that it isn't big enough for your hedgehog to get their mouth or their foot in. And then I just have like a solid ball here. You can get cat toys really cheap on Amazon. In fact, I bought an entire variety pack. Some of these aren't hedgehog safe, but I have a cat too, so none of them will go to waste. Like for example, these two really aren't hedgehog safe because uh, if a hedgehog was to try and bite this, they could get their jaw stuck in it. Same with this, they could get a foot stuck in it. So these would be more for my cats. But a lot of these variety packs come with a ton of different things like little catnip mice, which uh, hedgehogs seem to be curious about. Just be careful with the feathers. Another little mouse. Um, they also come with like pom-poms and things which hedgehogs can play with. So um, these variety packs are really cheap, but also you can just pick out very specific toys. Like if you only wanted crinkle balls because that's like your hedgehog's favorite, you can get those individually at the store. I just went for this because I also have a cat, so it worked out well. You can also get little plushies for your hedgehog. I have a donut and a slipper. Um, these were also part of an Amazon variety pack. They are puppy toys, so they do actually have little squeakers in them, but my hedgehog obviously <laughs> doesn't squeak them. I mean, I'm sure some do, but <laughs> mine doesn't even touch these really. Uh, but I have them in there anyway, in case he decides to change his mind at some point. But I, I love little plushies. Sometimes people put little plush animals in there. Um, these are great. Sometimes my hedgehog will use this as a pillow. I don't know if he does that intentionally, but uh, yeah. Plushies are great. You can also use a lot of the things that you would see in like children's gift bags and things like that, like the little toy trucks and toy skateboards and things like that. Those make decent toys for your hedgehog. Also uh, little pom-pom balls, those little rubber ones. I think they're called koosh balls or something like that. Um, there's also little mini rubber duckies. There are all kinds of things that you can give your hedgehog as a toy. You can also do something like a foraging box or a dig box. This is a little foraging box that I made specifically for this video. I was attempting to get Draco to use it, but he's not interested at all. Uh, I have a clip of that. He was very, like, the opposite of interested. It was... it didn't work out. But really, it's just a cardboard box that I decorated and put stones in. These are like large flat marbles. Whatever you put in here you want to make sure it's not big enough to be digested or anything like that. Um, the way you use these is you put treats or food in them and then your hedgehog can dig and forage for the treats. I did use contact paper to make the bottom of this uh, waterproof in case he decided to pee or poop on it. You can also make really deep 
uh, burrow boxes, if especially if you use something like fleece, uh, where your hedgehog really is limited in its digging source. If you buy little bins like this and cut a hole in them or put them upside down with the lid on and then cut a hole like that, you can stuff it full of things that they can uh, burrow in, like paper crinkles, paper bedding, fleece strips if you want to like make them washable or little crafting pom-poms work well for digging boxes and that's kind of like a foraging box you can put treats in it but just deeper my hamsters decided to join the party um <laughs> hi how are you did you get your treat was it delicious oh good i'm glad <laughs> you can also do things called fleece forests which are basically strips of fleece that hang from a grid or from like the wire of your cage. They hang down and your hedgehog can run through them and pull on them. I used to use those a lot. In fact, in my very first video ever on this channel, I have a fleece forest and a foraging box. So <laughs> uh, they are tried and tested. My hedgehog now doesn't care about them, but he's older. He doesn't care about much. Um, but fleece forests are great. They also double as a hide for a lot of hedgehogs. They really enjoy running through them. It also covers some of the floor space in their cage if you're having trouble coming up with new hides for them um, because hedgehogs do prefer to have their floor space really cluttered. So if you're having trouble on that front, a fleece forest is a really good way to sort of give you more coverage. So that's about it as far as toys go that I can think of, but if you have any toy suggestions, feel free to leave them down below for anyone else who uh, might be looking for toys for their hedgehog, and I will hopefully see you guys all next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye! I'm a lonely heart, heart feline. I think what's mine and I'm leaving behind.